Hey everyone, so this video is going to be in response to Soft Otaku's uh, contest giveaway video. Uh, I don't really make these kinds of videos, but I thought, why not try it out? Uh, I know that he said that we only have to answer uh, two of these questions, but I prepared answers for all of them, really, and it wasn't that difficult, so I thought, why not go ahead and just do it all? Um, first question is, what's a lesser known, underappreciated game that you recommend? And the game that I picked is actually a Neo Geo Pocket Color game, and it's Puzzle Bobble Mini. I know it's a pretty common uh, Neo Geo Pocket Color game, but the Neo Geo Pocket Color isn't a really common uh, handheld. Not that many people used it. But if anybody's interested in buying one, already has one, and doesn't have this game, Puzzle Bobble is just a really fun puzzle game. It's just like um, a whole bunch of those internet flash games where um, you shoot a bubble at or a ball at a... Uh, uh, similarly colored uh, balls and if there's a certain amount of them they just disappear off the screen and uh, yeah you just need to clear them all out but it's it's a fun uh, game it's not too hard so why not it, it's pretty cheap too uh, next question is what's a lesser known underappreciated YouTube channel that you recommend and I actually recommend uh, three channels, and they're all gaming channels, and they're all Canadian. Um, and in no particular order, the channels are Burning Toys, um, Thrift Dweller, and 64-Bit Matthew. Uh, like I said, they're all Canadian, they're all collectors, and just generally they're enthusiasts of uh, these sorts of things. Uh, they try to find cheaper games, like, not to say cheap games, but, uh, really good games for really good prices, and especially in a country like Canada, here it's really hard to get good games for good prices sometimes, because a lot of the times the games are overpriced here, games, consoles, uh, accessories, everything tends to be overpriced in Canada. And with uh, Thrift Dweller, uh, their sort of thing is that they like to keep uh, physical media alive. Uh, and there's one guy on the channel, and I'm sorry, I'm really bad with remembering names, uh, but one of the guys on the channel, I think it's Lester. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, and I'm really sorry, but uh, he buys tons and tons of CDs and he has a massive CD collection and if you're interested in in uh watching some uh, some uh cool CD pickups or music uh suggestions and stuff like that then it it it's a nice channel. Uh the next question is what would you like to see uh or see more of on my channel on uh on Soft Otaku that is. And honestly, I'd be happy with anything that he's willing to put out, um, any comedy videos, anything serious, more gaming pickups, uh, interesting stuff, uh, tours, anything, real life stuff, made up skits, anything he wants to put out there, there's going to be an audience for it and lots of people will watch it. Uh, next up is this question here, what's the story behind your YouTube username? Now, my YouTube username uh, is DragonDude2525, and when I was younger, uh, well, there's this website that still exists now called uh, YTV.ca. Um, it's the website for the television channel called YTV Youth Television, but everybody just knows it as YTV now. Um, they had, uh, this, uh, sort of game on there, uh, called the Sidekick, and it was just, uh, it was, it was this little thing you collect different, uh, sort of tokens for it, and then you can accessorize your, uh, virtual robot thing in different ways. It was really weird, but, um, for that I had made this, uh, the username for it, uh, Dragon Dude, 
And uh, at the time, not that many other people had that name on there as well. So I was the first one with it there. But then after that, uh, I noticed there were a lot of Dragon Dudes. And I was like, okay, whatever. Um, but then the names were just stuck. It was easy to remember because I had used it for a few years at that time. And uh, I just I transitioned it. My first YouTube channel, uh, the username that I had on it was uh, Dragon Dude JP. JP are my initials. Uh, but this time around, uh, because like the last one, I don't know, it, it wouldn't let me uh, keep the same uh, name. I had to put in a different name, so I just changed it to Dragon Dude Twenty Five Twenty Five because Twenty Five is a special number to me, and I thought, why not? And since Dragon Dude Twenty Five seemed to be taken already, uh, I just did Twenty Five Twenty Five. So yeah, it's kind of lame story. <laughs> Um, and the last question is, why aren't video games a waste of time and money? And all I can say is this, uh, at times you might feel like they are, many times we might regret spending uh, an extra couple of dollars or even an extra significant amount of money uh, on something that we really shouldn't have uh, spent. But then, time and time again, we do that with lots of different things. Not not even specifically video games, but with lots of things. Uh, occasionally, there's going to be something that you want, and just because you really want it, you you might be more likely to overspend. Um, and honestly, the only time that I can ever think of video games as being a waste of time is when you start ignoring your responsibilities in your daily life. Um, and start ignoring just what's really important in your life. Because in the end, video games are just something that's supposed to be there for you to be able to relax and have fun. And if you're sitting there playing video games all day, every day, then it just it loses something. It's, it's special quality is just gone in the end. And... I guess that that's uh, that's what I have to say about that because I can't really say that they're not a waste of time or money because um, everything really can be a waste of time or money. Anything that isn't necessary for life can be seen as being a waste of money and uh, I guess a waste of time if it doesn't result in any uh, physical uh, benefit in the end, or really any kind of benefit um, that's long-lasting, I assume you could say. Uh, it's just uh, it's just not, not important then. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have to say. I answered all the questions. Uh, I'm going to post this video and uh, see what happens with it. Uh, I'll send the link to Soft Otaku also. Uh, who pretty much made me make this video. Not really made me, but I saw it there. I was like, okay, might as well make this video. Uh, but yeah, I'm rambling. It's gotten to be too long now, so I'll just end it here. See ya.